Some folks living in one neighborhood are complaining tonight that the city took too long to clear the snow and ice from their streets. And people living in the area of William, Lyon, and Jefferson Street say that it's gotten so bad the ice has bonded to the streets. News 8's Jamie Miro on the scene in New Haven with more on what they're saying and the city's response. While public works crews continue to work on New Haven streets, there are still those that have concerns. Concerns like this, sheets of ice in some spots of the city that some people feel are just too unsafe. Is the city just spinning its wheels when it comes to cleaning certain sections of town still dealing with ice and snow? Barbara Iana Cohn's temper has reached a boiling point about her neighborhood. I just slid on the ice here. And I just fell on my hand walking back to my home. She says her shoes are almost as effective as her tires driving on William Lyon and Jefferson Streets. I myself almost hit a few cars. This area near Worcester Square has its fair share of thick icy spots. Alderman Mike Smart, who lives on Lyon, is spending his own money on salt and sand to help the melting process, but it's not working. We plowed out uh, a school bus. Uh, it took us two and a half hours the other day. I mean, my neighbors have been working hard, and we're the ones that have been actually getting people out, and it shouldn't be that way. Residents here feel the city has taken too long to address the problem. Is that a fair criticism? Uh, no, it's a it's a very significant uh, series of snow events that we've had, and you know we have to try and treat every road and get every road to a passable condition. Um, the road is definitely passable. Deputy Director of Public Works Howard Weisberg says the city isn't giving a cold shoulder to taxpayers. The issue is that these streets lack sun and heavy traffic to work with the melting materials. And a plow blade will do nothing as the ice has bonded to the pavement. It's time to experiment. We are looking at some other materials that we can put down that can help accelerate the melting. In the meantime, Barbara, like many others who live near her, will just take her time inching or sliding their way along. They said if a fire engine could come down the street, it's perfectly fine. No, it isn't. The Board of Aldermen are going to meet with officials from Public Works tonight to discuss the protocol of how streets are cleaned and then re-cleaned. That meeting is tonight at 6 o'clock. On the scene in New Haven, I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.